I've been giving exam many times, but not understanding where possibly I'm going wrong. I think I have got to give exam again to see what scores I get. Well, if you're wondering with these questions, then trust me. Today's video is that video helps you understand whether you should take the exam sooner or you should just postpone it later to the later point of time. I've got a test today and also I'll be explaining what mistakes you're doing, why you're doing the mistakes and in the end perhaps definitely will understand if you're ready for the exam or not. All you got to do is make sure you watch the video till the end. Hey everybody, this is from SkillsPT Academic. Really hope everybody is doing fantastic. I'm back with yet another super awesome power packed video on whether you're ready for the exam or not. Before we get into the video, if not subscribed to this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button and anytime you need online assistance, it's a paid assistance, you can WhatsApp us to the number appearing at the bottom of the screen. I'll be there, we will be there to help you guide you in the right direction. All right, without further delay, let's try to get into the video. Let me just share my screen. Are you ready for that exam? Take this test. So what kind of test, what are we doing today? Know that the major modules from which um, that you get a lot of marks to the exam is read aloud, repeat sentence, reading fill in the blank, reading writing fill in the blank, listening fill in the blank, write from dictation. Not your written lecture, summarized spoken text where templates are there, essay where templates are there. All those don't decide whether you get 65 or 79. These six modules decide whether you get 65 or 79. So today we will test these modules. I'm going to give a question for read aloud. I'm going to give some time for you to prepare and then answer and then I'll show how to answer and then I'll show what mistakes you're doing. If you do this kind of mistakes, what marks you get, same way followed for uh, follows for repeat sentence. And then we take up some reading fill in the blank, reading, writing fill in the blank, listening fill in the blank, write from dictation and tally the scores that you have got. And if you get these kind of scores, are you ready for 65? Are you ready for 70? Then complete understanding you're going to get little lengthy video, but trust me, it's worth every second, every fraction of a second that you invest today in this video. Okay, the rest of the modules don't have to worry too much about it. It is just these six modules and we'll test conclusively all the six modules today. Okay, so let's um, start with the read aloud. Every fumble, see read aloud is a module where they'll give you some paragraph to read. Some three, four lines will be there. You just have to read. And how you're evaluated, it's the fluency, fluency, fluency. You can skip few words, it doesn't matter. All you got to do is, fluency should be perfect. And now what is fluency? It is the way of speech. You should speak naturally. Right now I'm talking to you naturally. I, I'm, uh, I'm not doing this, isn't it? I'm not fumbling. I'm not reconsidering my statements by going back and repeating them or recorrecting them. I'm just going in a flow with a natural rhythm. Market research is a vital part of the planning of any business. However experienced you or your staff may be a dead, 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 This is that rhythm. And every fumble you do, you will lose one mark. So today I'm going to show an audio where you yourself will evaluate and understand what mistakes you're associated with respect to the read aloud. Every fumble you do, just reduce one mark. Speed should be natural. Don't go very fast. Don't assume that you should speak fast so that you get more marks. You should speak rather continuous. Right now I'm speaking slow in fact, but I'm trying to be more continuous so that ears will assume that I'm going fast. Now I'm going at a continuous speed. No intonation. Market research is a vital part. Don't do that. Total 5 marks per read aloud. <coughs> so I'm going to show you a text. I'm going to give you 20 minutes, 20 seconds rather time. Post that. You have to speak at your end. I'll speak at my end here. And then if at all there is a fumble. Nikola, I did three fumbles. You reduced three marks from five marks. Means you got two marks only. Remember, remember, remember. Every time you fumble or every time you hesitate, reduce one mark. That's it. More than five times you hesitate, it is zero only. No marks you get from read aloud. And by the way, read aloud contributes marks towards your speaking and reading both. Hope you are getting it. So I'm gonna, we are gonna do a test together. I'll give you 20 seconds to prepare. Post that you will speak at your end and then calculate the marks. No cheating. I'll also calculate the marks. No cheating openly. Okay. So this is the read aloud. 20 seconds timer. I'm not adding a timer. Let's just count 20 seconds. Post that. I'm gonna hint you the time is up and you're gonna start speaking. Up. 
I think you guys can start speaking at your end. 3, 2, 1, go. Ready? Please do at your end. Post that. I will help you understand how to do it. I hope you have done it. Please note down the scores you have got out of 5. Very simple. If you have fumbled once, give 4 out of 5. If you have fumbled or hesitated twice, give 3 out of 5. I mispronounced this word, does not matter. Fluency should be perfect. Any fumble, start erasing the marks. I hope you have noted down the scores that you have got. Now, I am going to uh, speak the read aloud, the perfect way to speak. This addiction is fueled by the instant access to a wealth of information, entertainment and social interaction that smartphones provide. As a result, many people struggle to disconnect from their devices, experiencing anxiety and restlessness when separated from them. I miss that word heightened intentionally because I thought what if I speak and I fumble. I just skipped it. Should be a problem, not a problem at all. I think I am getting 5 out of 5. Hope you agree as well. So, what scores you got, write it down in the end. We are going to calculate. In the end, trust me. I promise you. I will make you understand are you ready for the exam or not. But you got to trust me. That is it. Okay, let us quickly go to the second question. 20 seconds, here we go, ready. I think you guys can start now. Beginning in 3, 2, 1, go. Ready? I hope you have finished it. Let me just show how do I read it. Additionally, the constant notifications and alerts from various applications create a sense of urgency and a fear of missing out, further the cycle of dependence on mobile devices. Consequently, this addiction has implications for mental health, relationships and overall well-being. Did I fumble? No. Was I hesitating a lot? No. Was I uncomfortable, inconvenient in speaking? No. It was going at a very natural, comfortable speed. I get 5 out of 5. From 2 questions, I have got 10 out of 10. How much you have got? Note it down. I am telling you, please note it down. Do a self-strict analysis so that you actually understand where you stand. Do not go behind the scores from the third party applications. Correct? Fine. So, that is all read aloud. Now, we come to repeat sentence. Let us do a test of all the modules. Just hold on and see in the end whether you are ready for the 65 or 79. So, after repeat sentence, I am going to tell you how to count for speaking if you are ready for 65 or 79. So, repeat sentence, they are going to play an audio, you just have to repeat the audio exactly as it is. Every fumble reduce one mark. Please come to the next seminar properly prepared. It is the audio. Let us say you said, please come, come, come to the properly prepared. This is 0. 4 or 5 times I fumbled, it will not fit you any mark even if you match the content correctly. It is the fluency, fluency, fluency that wins the race over content, over content and pronunciation. So, now speech should be natural meaning try to speak at the same speed as the speaker. Do not have to follow the accent, follow the process. Okay? At least 50 percent content should match. Now, there is an audio I am going to play and whatever you played, if it is not even matching 50 percent of the audio. Let us say audio had 10 words and you spoke only 4 or 5 words, 4 words correctly, gave us right away 0. But let us say you have spoken 5 words or 6 words correctly, then check. If you have spoken fluently, then give 3 out of 3. One repeat sentence gives you 3 mark. Let us say you have fumbled once, then give 2 out of 3. Let us say you fumble twice, then give 1 out of 3. Let us say you fumble thrice, give 0. Hope you are getting it. First preference is content, 50 percent minimum should match. That is the first criteria. If it is matching, then check if your yeah, fluency was perfect. Fumbles 1 was there, then 2 out of 3, 1 out of 3, 0 out of 3 or 3 out of 3. This way you have to calculate. Hope it is clear. Hope it is clear. Hope it is clear. What do I do? I will play the repeat sentence audio now. Let us start. And one more thing, listen to the audio and do not speak immediately because the recording will be on after one or one and a half second once the audio ends. So, give that time and then speak. Okay? Bittersweet memories lingered like fading echoes in the silent night.
hope you have spoken it you know the marks calculate the marks write it down second one forgotten melodies echoed within the empty concert hall i hope you have done it note down the scores out of 3 how much you have got you know i do a self strict analysis the last one beneath the twinkling stars dreams take flight in the boundless night sky all right criteria is 50% should be minimum matching if it is less than 50% straight away zero if 50% or 60 or 70 or 80 or 90% 100% matching and if you're very fluent with no fumbles 3 out of 3 with one from one fumble 2 out of 3 with two fumbles one out of 3 in that way you ratio so hope you have gotten the scores i'm going to do it as well let's um, check out as to how i do it bitter sweet memories lingered like fading echoes in the silent night bitter sweet memories lingered like fading echoes i did not speak full i can speak full if i want i'll do it like fading echoes in the silent night but let's say i have a slightest doubt what if i try to speak everything what if i forget few so what i do i listen to only 70% and spoke that 70% comfortably maintaining the pauses i match the pauses of the speaker and i'm getting 3 out of 3 second one forgotten melodies echoed within the empty concert hall forgotten melodies echoed within the empty concert hall if you're not able to speak full it's okay forgotten memory echoed concert hall still you'll get full marks because 90% of the content matched and the best part is fluency is precise see the idea of fluency is it will come only when you're relaxed relaxed rather sorry you need to be very much relaxed and you need to enjoy that process if you have that hatred towards it then for forgotten m- m- all this will happen anxiety you need to be very much relaxed and just have a smile and just speak like the way i'm doing now if be a happy person when i'm doing repeat sentence things will automatically fall in place trust me on this third one beneath the twinkling stars dreams take flight in the boundless night sky beneath the twinkling stars dreams take flight i can speak in the boundless night sky whatever even if i don't or will if i do i don't get extra marks all i did was fluency was precise correct So I'll get three out of three. Content was good. So I have gotten this speaking evaluation to read aloud ten marks, five five. You know how much you have got. Three repeat sentence, nine marks, three three three. You know how much you have got. Total is nineteen. I have got nineteen out of nineteen. Or even if you get seventeen, trust me, you are ready for that seventy nine. No, no, Kulai. When I calculated, I got fifteen. Still, probably you are ready for sixty-five. Nikola, I got fourteen. Still, probably you are ready for sixty-five. I've got. I'm getting twelve, eleven. Maybe you need time for sixty-five. Well, with just three audios, we cannot just judge like that. But I ensured that all three audios had the difficulty level ranging from the simple ones to the complicated ones. So that way, yes, whatever the scores that you got here, the similar scores are going to reflect in the exam as well. For a sixty-five, I wanted fourteen and above. And for fifty, I want ten and above. You know it now. If you are getting fifteen, trust me, don't book exam for seventy nine right now. You need time. You need time. It's best when you accept it and fix it, and then book exam. Otherwise, you get frustrated seeing low scores. Speaking down, any doubts? Do leave a comment in the comment section. If you have got nineteen out of nineteen, do leave a comment in the comment section. Let me see how many of you have gotten nineteen out of nineteen. Now this part is done. We we'll quickly move on to the difficult parts: reading FIB and reading writing FIB. I've got two questions, eleven marks. So the first one is reading. Fill in the blank. In the end, I'm gonna show you how to evaluate. So you can pause the video, do it, and then resume the video to understand how to do it. Don't take more than two point five minutes. Okay, in the worst case, three minutes, but please don't take more than three minutes. I'm, I repeat, I could have added a timer, but it's okay. I want you guys uh, to do it in less than 2.5 or 3 minutes on your own. Once done, pause the video. Once done, resume the video to understand what is the correct answer, and not just that, what approach you used and what approach I'm using. All right, let's quickly start and finish it off. As of my last knowledge update, blah blah blah. There was no specific dash between. Oh, between is the preposition. Between is the word that decides because it will not go with every word. King between, no. queen between, or oh, partnership between, integration between, configuration between, chemistry between. There are some words that go integration between, <coughs> partnership between. Great.
Now we will go to the next one, but I am not sure which one has to come, but here collaboration is there, however the collaboration or integration, okay, it could be integration or partnership, I am not sure, so I am not uh, selecting the first one, I am just moving on. If such a dash, such, whenever you see the word such means it has already been used before. I met a person who is very jovial, who is very happy, blah, 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 full stop. If such a person, such a person comes to my life again, such means you already mentioned him. So, if such ye, this particular thing is this, it is been already written before. Now, we have integration and partnership. So, if such an integration, not a integration as per article concept. So, partnership gonna be two. If partnership is two, then integration gonna be one. Hope you are getting it. This is the approach. This you perhaps do not get in the websites. In websites, you get answers, but why that answer? Nobody will tell you. Getting it so like this, there are more than for 10,000 questions. In our course, we have questions followed by approach, which actually helps you climb up the ladder. Getting it, the first is integration, not partnership. Second is partnership, not integration. If such, see, so far I have not read anything. I am not bothered about as of my last knowledge update what it is telling. No, because directly I am using grammar and finishing it, collocations and finishing it. I am finding hints and finishing it. Whenever I cannot using such hints, then I will read. It could potentially involve dash like AI. It could potentially involve using AI. It could potentially involve trying AI, you need to use AI, using AI or something, okay, or dash reality, augmented reality as a collocation, correct. So, this you should know, read newspapers automatically, you would know augmented reality, AR we call. Uh, it is important to note that the dash of any integration after the noun should come, the boy, the girl, the shows, the human, the specifics, all three will fit in, see the show, the boy, the human, the specifics, the show, the human, the specifics. The leveraging will not work. Leveraging is a verb. Here noun should come. The dash, the human of any integration, the shows of any integration, the specifics of any integration, the specifications of an integration is the concept. So, specifics of integration gonna be five. So, we are left with third one. If such a partnership has emerged, it could potentially involve leveraging AI, means using AI. Now I am going with context. It is actually easy, but you are the one who going to make it easy, correct. Leverage is to use, to make use of something, correct. It could potentially involve using AI like open AI or chat GPT, artificial intelligence or anything. It is a simple one, but trust me one and two people interchange. Fifth one specifics people do not write, third one to 100 percent people write human or shows. So, five marks here, keep a track of the mistakes that you have done keep a track of the mistakes that you have done, 5, 5, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We quickly move on to the reading, writing, fill in the blanks and then I will show you what marks would you be getting in the exam with respect to reading and with respect to writing because this contributes marks to writing. The previous one reading alone, this contributes 25 to 30 marks to reading and 25 to 30 marks to writing separately in the exam from this one module. It is a very simple one, take some 3 minutes. Uh, pause the video, take some 3, 3.5, you should not take more than that and once done resume the video to understand what mistakes you have done, alright. Let us quickly start, Facebook and inter Instagram are launching <coughs> many right events. Why not master classes, why not classes, why not subscriptions? So, right now we do not have much knowledge on the context. So, what we are going to do, we are going to leave it empty man, but we try to get the context. Here grammar will not work, launching an event, if an is not there, launching launching a subscription, a master class. If A is not there, plural, all are events, subscriptions, master classes, classes, everything is plural. So, here grammar will not work. I need to understand the story. So, I am not getting the story at the moment because I have read only a part of it, not even a part of it, in, an inch of it. So, I am just leaving it empty and continue. In most of the Europe, that will remove dash from the platforms, that will remove awareness, remove adverts, adverts means advertisements, logins, profiles, anything can fit in as per grammar. So, I am leaving it empty. People using the meta owned, Facebook and Instagram are owned by meta, remember this, meta owned platforms will be able to pay per month for an ad free, ah, now got the clue, this is the approach. You pay Euro 0.99 per month, 10 euros per month, correct. 
you do not get any ads in these platforms, they are launching this. So, they are talking about Facebook and Instagram are launching subscription, premium subscription where you pay 10 euros so that they will remove the advertisements. This is how you do it. Wait for that clue. No, Nakul. Patience, patience ki baat hai. I do not have patience. I have to immediately solve then and there itself. Then things are going to be quite difficult. Correct. So, this is subscriptions adverts. In January, January is over, it is past. Meta is a noun, here verb has to come. Meta has fined, police has fined 1 dollar to me. Police has fined means police is doing the action. Meta has fined means Meta is doing the action. Is Meta doing the action or Meta is receiving the action? Let us say some person is uh, you know drunk going or doing a drunken drive thing he is drunk and he is driving and a police has fined him means the person is receiving the action here meta has been fined has been is not there meta fined police find me police find me means police is doing the action meta see the idea is meta has received the fine meta has to pay the fine meta has fined means meta has fined someone asking hey pay the amount meta fined means meta is asking someone to pay meta find this to me Meta was a find, meta is find, both are grammatically correct, but this is January in the past. So, was find, it is a passive voice. Adam killed David. David was killed by Adam. When it is receiving, you say was and is. When it is doing, you do not say was and is, you say has or without has. So, this is both are active voice, this both are passive voice. So, your passive voice in January past tense, so meta was fine. So, active voice, passive voice you need. Recently, probably two months before, I made a video in uh, YouTube, I posted it. Two hour complete grammar course. Check that out, all these concepts you will clear. So, was fined for dash rules. Fine means they have done something with the rules, they have broken the rules, breaking the rules. Correct, the subscription tier will be dash to people in the U. European Union, it is only to European Union people, it will not be allocated, you are not allocating the subscription. Acclimatized means getting used to a different climate. Allotted, allocated both almost come on a same level, so it is exclusive. It will be exclusive to people in the European Union, Meta said its new subscription was about addressing EU concerns, dash making money, ah, Meta is making lot of money actually. That is what we think, but Meta says no, 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 it is not about making money, it is about addressing the concerns. So, rather than making money is the context. So, first is subscription, second is adverts or advertisements, I will just write it down neatly. Subscription, adverts, was find, break the rule, exclusive rather than. Keep a track of the mistakes you have done, 6 marks for this. Do leave your valuable comments. If at all you have any doubts, my team or myself will get back at the earliest. All right, so total was 5 plus 6, 11 marks for a 79. I need 11 out of 11 or even 9 out of 11 would do, 8 will not do. Trust me on this and for a 65, if you get 7 and above, it is a decent score, but if you are getting 5, 4, not at all a decent score. At least I need half of it, 5 or 6 for a 50, if you are getting less than that, probably you are not ready for 50. If you are getting 2 here for a 50, you need time. Out of 11, if you are getting 5 here for 65 unit time, out of 11, you are getting 7 or 8 for a 79 unit time, it is time you accept it, work towards it and then book exam once you progress, so that you do not get frustrated by saying the scores, reality I am talking about. Alright, so writing and reading is done, now we move to listening, fill in the blank and write from dictation, this is where a lot of people um, gets very low score. Let us quickly start with listening, fill in the blank and write from dictation. So, be ready with a pen and a book. If you do not have a pen and a book or the laptop facility or something, some facility where you can type then pause the video, get it down and then start. I am going to start the audio. Now, this is listening, fill in the blanks. I am going to play the audio, in the audio these 5 blanks beginning in 8 seconds. I am going to play the audio now, let us start. Archaeological discoveries across the Americas have shaped our understanding of when and how humans first reached the so-called New World. The story told by artifacts unearthed from sites all the way from Alaska to Chile is hotly debated. 
According to the Clovis First Theory, people crossed from Siberia into North America just over 13,000 years ago via the Bering Land Bridge, a mass of land that emerged when the last ice age lowered sea levels and spread across the Americas. Take your time, it is a fairly simple one. Let me just help you with the correct answers. All right, I am hoping you have finished it. Let me just show you the correct answers. Archaeological dis Archaeological, uh, there is a way to remember the spelling archaeology. I will show it in just a while. Uh, first is archaeological. Discoveries across the Americas have shaped our understanding of when and how humans first reached the so called new world. The story told by artifacts unearthed from sites. Story told by artifacts unearthed from sites from the earth, you took it out. Unearthed, it is a past tense. So, U N E A R T H E D has to come. All the way from Alaska to Chile is hotly debated. Debated. According to the Clovis First Theory, we'll thousand it. years ago via yeah. the Bering Land Bridge. Land um, Bridge. Land Bridge, correct? Mass of land that emerged when the last ice age lowered sea. Lowered the sea levels. Last ice age is a noun. Here, verb has to come. It's a mass of land 13 years, 13,000 years ago, past tense. Low world has to come. So, these are the correct answers. Archaeological. C A R C H. Now, A E O. This is the difficult part. Very simple to remember. Vowels you write A E I O U. Pick the ones you need. A E I O U A E O U pick in the same order from top to bottom. Archaeological A R C H. Now A E or E A very simple A E I O U I O remove A E O will come A E O A E I O U I O remove O logical. Unearthed E D has to come debated E D has to come bridge capital letter small letter is not mandatory low word phi every letter by letter should be same um, w e if ed is missing can i give one mark no every blank is one mark so total five marks keep a track of the mistakes that you have done um, now we come to the right from dictation i've got three right from dictations i'm going to play the audio listening fill in the blanks we have done five marks keep a track note the number of mistakes that you have done. Now, we are going to write from dictation. So, write from dictation, um, I have got three write from dictations, all simple ones. Uh, I am going to play the audio, you have to listen and write exactly as it is. You can add extra words, extra spellings, whatever you want in any order, that word should be there somewhere, that is it. And every word will give you one mark. Let us quickly start write from dictation beginning in 3, to 1, go ready. The dog eagerly fetches balls, its tail wagging in excitement each time. Simple one, understand 90 percent of the people try to remember. Do not remember man, I try to understand you are going to write better. The dog eagerly fetches balls. The dog eagerly fetches the balls, first phrase. Its tail wagging in excitement each time. Its tail wagging in excitement each time. 12 words are there, the dog eagerly fetches the balls, ITS not IT apostrophe S, wagging double G not single G, in excitement C, if you miss that C 0 mark, E is there, each time 2 words, 12 words, every word if it is there give 12 mark, spelling should be correct, correct, every word, dog is there given mark, da is there given mark, eagerly fetches, spelling should be perfect, if fetches you have written F E. T H E S no mark. C has to be there, 0 of marks for this. Every word 1 mark, it need not be in the order, the word can be anywhere. In the end, just add in on A, the I T S, I T apostrophe S, everything, whatever ball, balls, fetch, fetches, dog, dogs, correct, wagging, W A G I N G, W A G G I N G, it is up to you how you are going to add. But all I need is W A G G I N G, T A I L. 
in excitement each time these 12 words are there you are going to get 12 out of 12 keep a track of the mistakes that you have done we go to the second one uh, ready ready beginning in 3 to 1 go ready raindrops create a melody on the roof Very simple one, add extra words, add extra words, add extra words. I think time was sufficient. Raindrops create a melody on the roof. Raindrops create a melody on the roof. Ye da in the end you add. Melody on the roof. Create. Who creates? Raindrop or raindrops? Add both. Now, the point is, is it raindrop one word or rain space drop two words? That is the point of contention. Add all the possibilities, no, so that you do not miss any out, you know, miss out on any mark. This is the only thing that gives you mark. If you have written R A I N D R O P S, this will not give you mark. This should be this, then write both rain drop, raindrop, rain drops, raindrops. All four possibilities you write. Create, creates, created, ye and the melody, M E L A D Y. That is melody that is different. M E L O D Y, M E L I O D Y, whatever, everything you add. But I need M E L O D Y. Seven words, keep a track of the mistakes you have done. Every word is one mark. The last one for today. Beginning in 3, 2, 1, go ready. The sun dips below the horizon, painting the sky with warm hues. Very simple one, the sun dip below the horizon, painting the warm sky hues or painting something in a hues, hue is that color, okay. The sun dips below the horizon. Dips is there, so you write dip, dips, dipped, all, all three possibilities you are going to write. The sun dips below the horizon. Painting the sky with warm hues. Painting the sky with warm hues. The sun, the sun rather dips below the horizon, painting the sky with warm hues. Hues, H U E S. Total 12 words, every word is one mark, 12 out of 12. If you have written 12 marks, keep a track of the mistakes that you have done. All right, evaluation part. Listening fill in the blanks, 5 marks was there. Right from dictation, 31 marks was there. So, this is 12. This is 7, 12, 7, 19 plus 12, 19 plus 10, nah, 29 plus 2, 31 total. So, together 31 plus 5, 36. Now, out of 36, I need 36 out of 36 for a 90 overall or 32 out of 36 also will do for a 79, not a 30. 31 also may do in some cases. Trust me, whatever the mistakes you have done here, similar mistake you would have done in the exam. Trust me on this. If you are getting 26 here, you are not ready for 17 and I am not telling anything wrong. I am showing you the right path, right direction. You fix it and then give 100 percent, you will see the result. Or if the exam is very easy, you may see good score. If the exam is little difficult, like 12 words comes, gone case because you will write only 7 to 8 words correctly. All I am showing you is the right direction. One who believes and puts that faith and accepts it will actually grow eventually. Hope you are getting it. No offense if you are getting low score. All I am meant to do is to help you understand where you stand. I have intentionally not given difficult ones. First and first one was little tricky. Second right from dictation was very easy. Third is actually easy wherein you just have to remember the phrases. For a 65, 25 and above, 10, 11 mistakes. So, fine, not lesser than that. 22, 20, probably you are not. For a 50, usually it is half of it, 7 to 80, 18 out of 36, probably you are above 50. Alright, I really hope this video made sense. By the way, how was the video? You like this new approach? You want more videos on this? Do leave a comment in the comment section. We will be very soon making more videos on this as well. And you want more, you know, like higher complexity or now could reduce the complexity is difficult. Do leave a comment in the comment section as well. We are going to take your inputs very, very positively. 
If not subscribed to this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button. Otherwise, for sure, you're going to miss a lot of informative videos like this. And anytime you need online assistance, you can WhatsApp us to the number appearing at the bottom of the screen. We will be there. I'll be there to help you guide your right direction, guys. Fine, guys. This is Nakul signing off from Skills PT. Soon, I will be back. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.